Greetings Container Gardening Grow Family. In this morning's video, we're going to be taking a look at our now six month old Japanese loquat tree that we're currently growing in this 15 gallon container. We have our container located in our backyard food forest in a somewhat uh, shaded area. And we're going to give you guys a quick look at exactly how much our Japanese loquat tree has grown since our last video update about a month ago. Take a look at this, guys. We have our container located on the top of this two and a half foot stand here to get our container up off the ground and um, away from possible insects and other things, pests that might um, cause diseases and viruses and much on the leaves of our Japanese loquat tree here. There are a lot of different things here in our area love Japanese loquats, especially the aphids. The aphids really love the fresh, tender leaves of the Japanese loquat trees here. And having our container up off of the ground has um, really, really, really reduced the amount of issues we've had with lo um, the aphids and many other uh, insects here in our backyard food forest. But take a look at our now six month old Japanese loquat tree, again, growing in this 15 gallon container here atop this two and a half foot stand here in our backyard food forest. As I raise this camera up, doesn't it look fantastic here in this container? Really, 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 as you guys can see, putting on a lot of new growth here at the top. All of those light green colored leaves, as you guys can see, are new growth. Now, we recently moved our loquat tree back here to our backyard food forest about two and a half months ago. And we did that because the sun in our front yard is very, very, very intense during the heat of the day. And we noticed some issues with our loquat tree in the location that we had it in, out in full sun during the heat of the day. It really, really, really tend to affect our more tender, younger growth on our Japanese loquat tree. So for those reasons and those reasons only, we up-potted our Japanese loquat tree to this 15-gallon container from the three-gallon container that it was in. And we also moved it back here in a semi-shaded area. This area receives direct sunlight and indirect sunlight at several different points during the day. But our loquat tree is never, ever just simply baking at any point of the day here in this current location where we have it at here in our backyard food forest. Again, our now six month old Japanese loquat tree. She's looking fantastic. Every bit of about three and a half to four feet tall. Now we think that thing is at least four feet tall because we have her planted at about this depth in this pot down here. So that gives us about a good four foot, four feet of uh, growth from where the bottom of this plant is to the um, very tallest branch here, up here in the, uh, the top up here. So at any rate guys, thanks for watching. And if you are watching this video on our now six month old Japanese loquat tree that we're currently growing again in this 15 gallon container here in our backyard food forest and you're not already subscribed to the more you grow container gardening, Please take a moment to press that subscribe button beneath this video, the like button, the notification button, and be sure to share this video with your friends and family as well. Thanks for watching.